When I first started going there, the drivers were very, very curious. They couldn't understand why I was sitting in my picnic chair with my telescope looking at the gulls all day long. What was I doing? They just could not understand. But now, I've been there for 16 years, I'm just part of the furniture. the influence of my father, I think. When I was young, he used to take me out and we used to look for birds' nests, and we used to find blackbirds and thrushes, and then he'd take me out to the fields. So the people in Gloucester were up in arms about all these gulls and wondering what could be done about them. Some people were even going as far as saying they should kill every gull on the rubbish tip. But ringers were putting large plastic rings on gulls. So you could go with the Gloucester tip, look at the flock of gulls, and you could tell where many of them came from. So I thought this would make a really good study. Then I could find out where the gulls were coming from. And before very long, I was seeing gulls from Scotland and Iceland and Norway and Denmark and Belgium and Holland. So I was able to prove that most of the gulls on the tip just do not nest in Gloucester City. I find a connection between myself and the gulls. Um, I would like to think I do. I would like to think that when I go down to the tip, the gulls would recognise me. And I think, oh, after 16 years, there's that guy again. It doesn't mean there's any harm, but sadly it isn't true. They fly away when I approach, just like anybody else. Will there ever be a time when I lose interest in gulls? I think the simple answer to that is no. But I have to face the fact that I'm becoming a, an old man. My eyesight is not going to hold up forever. I'm not going to be peering through telescopes for very much longer. So my time is running out. I don't worry about these things. I just live from day to day. But I do have to face the fact that before very long, I may have to give up and hand over to somebody else.